Hello and welcome to my channel crafting with me Indiana Jones and today I am going to be your mistress of Christmas yes I'm gonna give myself that title I haven't seen anybody else use it so as the mistress of Christmas let's get started on some wonderful vintage Christmas decor using IOD molds let's go <laughs> Today it's everything Christmas with my sweet friends, host Katie of Lady Red Crafting, Jody at Jody at Southern Seasons, and Lisa of Our Grey House, as well as a full playlist with bunches and bunches of inspirations for Christmas to get you started. So check out their channels and the link down below. Now let's see what I'm up to today. So today I want to feature my friend Lynn and Megan from LNJ Goods. This is where I get my IOD products. Look at this. This is the Christmas collection from IOD and I am using a few of these products and wanted to feature them so you can see where I get my products from. So let's see what I come up with today. There is my package from LNJ Goods. I was so excited. Now I did get this bow mold and this was from the previous collection but this was iod christmas's oh my gosh look at this mold i love it this is the cloche mold as well as the kitschy christmas i was focusing on kitschy christmas for my projects but i'm going to bring in some older iod designs from previous years as well as kitschy christmas so i take full advantage of everything i have now let's just get started with an easy ornament. I got these ornaments. These are like ceramic uh, ornaments that I got from Hobby Lobby last year at 90% off. Remember these blank ornaments are the best that we can get, especially after the holiday season and we can use them all year long. But now look at this sweetness. This is the cutest little thing. And I was, I was actually considering saving this for Easter because this totally can be Easter as well but I couldn't help myself. They're just so adorable. I thought it would be cute to make a little woodland ornament for my tree this year. Now this won't be going to the dairy estate. This is going to stay at home with me because it's just too, too cute. And I just love the way this turned out. And it was very simple. I could have painted it. I could, I do add a little bit of trim on the outside of the ornament, but it is such a beautiful design that it really doesn't need much more to make it special. So again, you can use this for Christmas or you can save some of these woodland ones for Easter as well. But you know, why save it? Use it now and then use it again. Why not? So here I'm just adding this wonderful tinsel trim to make it a little more Christmassy. I really like this. And again, super easy. All you have to do is rub the transfer on and there you have it. I really like this one. Here's another blank ornament that I got last year and these are all left behind simply because some people just don't have any idea what to do with them. And these blank ornaments I should keep around my craft room and not put them away with my Christmas stuff because I could have used these all year round. And what I love about them is because they're clear, you can actually, and, uh, okay, I, I left the frosted coating on it, but it actually has a frosted coating so they're completely clear, but it's okay. It all works out, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. But these are fantastic, again, at 90% off, I think they were $3.99 for a pack of eight or something. And for 39 cents, this is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And there you go, I had a boo-boo there. I used my transfer, it didn't completely transfer over and all you have to do is just set it back into place and voila, it's done. Another cute little rabbit, a little wascally rabbit, absolutely adorable, but this I'm going to use like a backwards decoupage, I don't know if that makes any sense, but instead of decoupaging, I'm going to use, yes, glitter. I have loads of glitter, people. Glitter here, glitter there, glitter, glitter everywhere. Wait until, oh geez, I'm, I've got a lot of glitter <laughs> projects coming up next week. So uh, yeah, enjoy that. I know my friend Jane can't stand glitter, so I'm sorry, Jane. I, I hope this doesn't give you any kind of triggers, but trigger warning, there's glitter ahead, people. Lots of glitter. But look how pretty it looks from the front, and it looks pretty from the back, and I just love it. It's darling. I hope you like it too. <laughs> Now, 
as Luna walks on by, you see I have this lovely little sleigh ornament, which is perfect. And all I did was, um, I think it was painted from last year and I never finished it. So here we go. I'm just going to decoupage this lovely Merry Christmas. And again, all of this stuff, I bought it like 80, 90% off last year. This comes from those little paper pads, not the big ones, but the smaller ones, which I think are is perfect because that doesn't take as much space. Look at this Santa Claus. I'm telling you that kitschy collection has not only those little woodland creatures that you saw, so it has a little bit of everything. So it has the little woodland creatures, it has the kitschy stuff, it has the Santa Claus. I did a boo-boo there because I put down the transfer and somehow I was able to lift it up without damaging. So thank you. Thank goodness. Thank God. I love this. This little transfer is adorable and I think it matches that, that paper just perfectly. And look at how easy it is to create ornaments with all of these IOD transfers. Amazing. Sometimes I wish I was one of those you know, resellers of IOD, but then I was like, I don't want to carry all that inventory. I'd rather just buy it from Ellen. So don't worry about carrying inventory. I just buy it from Ellen. She's from Lynn, actually. Ellen J. Goods. Her name is Lynn. But she has fabulous items. Not only IOD, but she has other products. She has decoupage papers and paints and everything you can need. Now, because I want to make this retro and vintage, of course I'm going to add one of these little bottle brush trees. Look how cute. It's perfect. It was smushed on one side. And I know that you can like revive it just by putting it in hot water. If you didn't know that, that's how you can revive these little trees if they're smushed. But I wanted it to smush down because now it's a perfect complement to that Santa Claus sleigh. I really love it. Again, all of these little accoutrements, accoutrements, accessories, whatever you want to call them. I always try to buy them when they are on sale, either when they're already at 60% off at the beginning. Of, I mean, right now everything's 50% off at Hobby Lobby. But I usually wait until it's 60, 70, 75, especially at the end of the season. I really, really wait it out unless I have something I just simply can't live without. Then I'll buy it at 75%. But right now, all I'm doing is adding these miniature little holly leaves just to add another pretty touch. I love adding little 3D touches to these ornaments. And again, this is one that's going to stay at home with me. Even though it's retro, I'd rather have this for me, I have a memory of Ethan creating a little ornament, one of his first crafting uh, decorations that he created with his grandma was uh, just creating a little a sled that had his, uh, his handprint and his name. So this is a memory for him. I might give this to Ethan in, instead of keeping it for myself. Now the transfers in the book are fantastic, but check out the cover, not only the front cover, but the back cover. I had this cabochon, 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 whatever you want to call it, and a cat, a cabochon and a cat. And I decided it would be nice to make like a little necklace or a little choker with one of these images from the back. So don't overlook your back and your front cover to create other items. For this cabochon, I decided to use those lovely romantic Christmas flowers and I thought it was absolutely perfect. I might make some more cabochons. Um, and again, please correct me if I said it wrong, but I can create some more of these either for keychains or for other. I mean, imagine all those cute little images as keychains that you um, use resin with. You can use resin and what a great idea, right? So for this one, I'm just going to use this little gabuchon and this little necklace uh, choker part and glue it together with a little E6000 and voila, I am done. And whether I use this myself or give it as a gift, I think it looks fantastic. And because it's got these Christmas florals, I think you can use it all year round. I love it, don't you? <laughs> Speaking of resin, I had cast these resin frames and this is another IOD uh, frame uh, mold, I suppose. Yes. And so I had this little frame and these are wonderful. Like they match perfectly because that's how they do it over there at IOD. So they have these little you know, these little images that are perfect for tags, but they also happen to perfectly fit into these tiny little frames. So of course I'm taking advantage of that and making some tiny little frame ornaments for myself. 
And with this, I'm just using a little bit of red and gold. And I'm, uh, I'm also like just touching on the um, frame with a little bit of this antique gold just to give it a little more depth. And all I have to do now is my little snowman transfer and look at how perfect that matches. This is the easiest way to make ornaments, I think. This is fabulous. And again, clever girls that they made this the exact size of their frames and I love it. So what do you do with the projects you forgot to make for Halloween? Well, you just make them for Christmas. Like this crystal magic that I was going to make into a really special uh, spell book. I had gotten this at the Dollar Tree this year. One of the few things I purchased this year, trying to keep my stash low. But I decided using this beautiful green color from Folk Art that I wanted to create it into a kind of gift book for Christmas. Again, using the wonderful IOD transfers in this kitschy Christmas. And I found a Santa that also perfectly fit into the IOD frame mold from previous years. Using my small stash of the small uh, papers from Christmas in the past, again, I love using those little booklets and keeping them on hand for projects like this one. Now, I've just uncast, uncast? Yes, I've uncasted this frame mold and I absolutely love this frame mold. I've used it all throughout the year. And check out this paper. It almost looks exactly like the image of Santa Claus on the foreground. Now here I'm using this antique gold to give it that kind of vintage look. And when I mean vintage, I don't know what vintage could be retro, could be mid-century, it could be Victorian, it could be the 80s, it could be the 90s. You know, back in those days, we used to use a lot of uh, gold, but look at how perfect this just lines up with the paper and the Santa Claus is gonna fit in there just perfectly. All you do, once again, is using the transfer on the paper and I think it looks fabulous. This alone without the book would be a perfect ornament as well. I just absolutely love the way this turned out. And that gold, ugh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Especially like for a shabby chic kind of Victorian Christmas. But now that I'll place it on top of the book, it's like an added bonus. I almost feel like I should have like just Velcroed the frame on so people can use it as an ornament and place i don't know i don't know what else would you use this for i just think it's perfect for that color gold um and that color green just match so well together now i wanted to add some more embellishments and this is from previous years iod transfers again don't feel guilty about getting these transfers even if you only use like three or four or five of the items because you're going to it, christmas comes again every year i hope God willing. So you're going to use these items again and again. And when you get a new transfer book, you just combine and have the, the all these designs work together because they're all designed by IOD. I think it's fabulous. Look, look at this. How beautiful does this look on that dark green? I love that emerald green. That was the color of my bridesmaids when I got married was this deep emerald uh, green and I got married November 11th so it was in the middle of you know fall we had pumpkins and fall leaves on the altar it was just spectacular I absolutely love 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 this combination um, that was then this is now okay so it was lovely memories but you know they're gone now even though I was very happy for many years but now I digress let's not go and get into that let's enjoy this and here just in case you didn't know this you can paint your transfers yes you can so I'm adding a little bit of gold just so that it matches more with the design of the frame that I'm going to include in the center of this book and I had enough embellishments left over to uh, you know design the spine as well now look at how oh, I love this booklet I love it love it love it again this is fabulous for a gift or to store your most precious precious treasures from this Christmas and Christmas past Now let me tell you about Let's Resin. I just got this Fast Cure Clear Resin and this is my first time using it so I wanted to share it with you and especially using these beautiful IOD molds. The um, 
Oh my gosh, these cloche molds are just spectacular. So I got this huge kit and I'm glad I did because I'm going to make so many projects with this and I absolutely love using clear resin now and with Let's Resin, this fast cure is so much better. Last week or a few weeks ago, I had made a clear resin skull. Now that was the regular time resin so it took a little longer it took around uh, 24 hours for it to set completely but with this fast cure it could be between four to eight hours so it's much faster it's not as fast as other resins that i've used but for clear resin that's incredibly fast so if you've never tried using clear resin try let's resin clear resin it was very easy to use and again you know the instructions are easy and using them in these iod cloches is absolutely perfect this clear resin kit included everything including pipettes and these beautiful colors that you can add even white you can add white to your clear resin so for this cloche mold all i'm doing is using parts a and parts b if you've ever used resin any kind of resin it usually has to have a part a and part b an activator and all you do is put them together mix them slowly now the difference with this resin is that you want to make sure you mix it slowly and give yourself enough time before you pour the resin so that any bubbles will just float up but just mix it slowly and shouldn't have any real bubbles really come out but this resin is crystal clear i also did a little bit of a small uh, snowflake mold and it came out beautiful i showed it in my live this past week as well and this cloche mold just came out fantastic i can't wait to show you how i used this mold this iod mold this resin the clear resin and my iod kitschy transfers all together so let's just check out how i did it the diff three different i tried the three different styles of these molds and it was just so easy and using these transfers is fantastic you don't have to use the transfers if you don't have them but it's wonderful to use your christmas paper i used the transfer right there and now i'm just using a little bit of mod podge i used the gloss mod podge so it'll come out nice and clear and i just put it under the resin and it came out fabulous now there is a trick and it doesn't have to do with the resin itself but i guess with the mold it just makes the resin a little cloudy so you do have to cover it with a clear high gloss glaze or mod podge or um I don't know what else is out there but i'm using fusion clear glaze which i also got from ellen um at ellen j goods so lynn also has the fusion clear glaze and i think it worked fabulous and you can see the difference right here right on top of this paper pad before the glaze and after the glaze makes such a difference especially with this clear resin now let's get ready to create some more cloches each one of these designs i just absolutely love so the first one i did the little candle now for this i'm going to use this beautiful little kitschy um christmas tree with this starry background and i thought this was a perfect background with those little asteroids i think they're called and look at how perfect it matches up and all you have to do is just cut it down and you can see how clear that resin is once you use the clear glaze on top of it and i this one this one i think was my i i don't know which one's my favorite anymore but i really really love this one i can't wait to put this on my christmas tree or use it at the Deering Estate. But I think I wanna keep this one at home. I mean, I have to decorate here at home as well. So I deserve uh, some few new things that I create. So this will definitely be on my home Christmas tree. Now I'm using this wonderful antique gold again, just to uh, finish off that, you know, the resin mold. Now I have to try this out. I haven't tried it yet, but because I can color the resin, I can also um, put the mold in or the resin in uh, already colored. Now I'm a little scared of doing that, but I'm, I'm told that this is possible. So let me try that out next time. But still, I love the gold for this cloche. I just think it's perfect for Christmas. And of course, I have to add the the gold and this wonderful glaze to the previous um, 
mold that I also unmolded just to make sure it's absolutely clear and of course I'm going to paint it gold as I did before so it's going to be a set of two that are going to be in the same design. To make this even more unique, I'm adding some 3D accessories or uh, embellishments and I'm just adding some ivy and um, some holly, ivy and holly and these little red flowers, these little red paper flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby and it just makes such a spectacular difference and how beautiful this is going to be on any Christmas tree but very happy it's going to be on mine. And if you're enjoying this so far, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I would love to have you as part of my little community, my little YouTube crafty community here on YouTube. So here is my last mold, and this one I decided to use the white uh, just to give you another opportunity. If you've never used clear resin, you might be a little uh, skeptical or just a little scared, but I'm telling you, don't be scared. But if so, you can also use the regular white resin. And here I'm going back to these woodland characters. Again, my son loves deer. So again, this might be another little craft that I, I give to my son, Ethan. And I just love the e how easy it is to use these transfers on whatever kind of surface, however round or anything it is, it just, it even on these rounded areas, it's perfect, it's wonderful. And you would think that it was designed just for this. These cloches are truly a game changer. I, this is my absolute favorite mold so far. I haven't tried the, the ribbon one that was from the summer collection that I also got, but I will be using that in future um, episodes but look at how beautiful how easy easy it is to design and you can transfer one on top of the other you can mix transfers from different collections and it just makes everything so beautiful so those colors are bright oh my gosh you if you've never used transfers before believe me it is so easy to make such beautiful designs with these transfers layering them cutting them into the areas that you want them to fit into just as you wish so i hope you try out any one of these iod products and remember to check out lynn and megan on lnj goods on her channel and on her store uh, i'll have all of her information down below so you can start crafting and creating these beautiful iod uh, products and for these wonderful i mean again these cloches you can use all year round they're not just for christmas imagine how beautiful this will be you know even for halloween if you want to use it now for halloween although it's a little bit late but you can use this for all different holidays and look at this beautiful collection with these three cloches i think these are absolutely beautiful and will fit into any holiday decor and imagine these as gifts using these as tags and giving each family member their own unique ornament that they can have for years and years crafted and created with love by you Thank you again to the hostesses of everything Christmas. Uh, Lady Red Crafting Jody at Southern Seasons, our gray house. Please check out their channels and the full playlist down below. Thank you again for stopping by and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as I always say, stay safe, be kind. God bless each and every one of you and remember to live the adventure.